my newbie bookies we are about to do my makeup sit back relax like subscribe do what you need to do get some popcorn get a pen and pencil i don't care what you get come on Okay, so of course we're gonna start bare face. Like, I don't understand why nobody thought I was just gonna come in looking cute, but you probably didn't even think that. But now let's really get into some good tea. You're gonna see me doing this all video because your girl got a Bobbiana and don't know how to act. I went to Ulta, got me a cute little couple of goodies. More goodies than I expected, like this. I wasn't even supposed to pick this up, but hey, whatever. I'm not really a good person with talking and doing my eyebrows. So I was like, yeah, we're not even gonna talk and try to do this video because we're gonna be behind on time. So I am about to do a little tutorial on how I do my makeup. And this is especially for my girl Amaya at work because she loved thinking I could do makeup like, you know, a beautician, but hey, if this helps, I hope it does. So I got this Anastasia um, type of pencil. I like to pencil out and outline my eyebrows first just because it gives me the arch that I need. Like, I basically know how to shape my eyebrows a little bit better when I use a pencil versus going straight to using like the eyebrow gel or however you classify the pomade. I classify as pomade, I don't classify it as gel, but to each his own. So I definitely use the pencil and as you can see, it gets out my full outline the way I want my eyebrows to be, you know, shaped. And on top of that too, I don't have my eyebrows done. So an eyebrow pencil really comes into the best clutch that I needed to because honestly, I don't really feel like I know how to do my eyebrows correctly. And I'm not even gonna say I don't know how to do it correctly. I don't know how to do my eyebrows anymore. Cause honey, back in, I'm gonna say 2021, when it came down to slaying some eyebrows, oh, the eyebrows were eyebrowing. You hear me? Like, that would've doing a little bit of good one too. But as time has progressed, and the crazy thing about it is too, I didn't use an eyebrow pencil back then. I just used the eyebrow pomade with the actual like eyebrow stencil. Um, stencil brush and I don't know back then my eyebrows used to just used to be perfect I'm over here stuttering and stuff I had a long day and my voice is kind of coming back so please do not mind me but yeah I don't know what progressed me to want to start using the pencil and I really I really get my eyebrows done honestly I really don't like getting my eyebrows done unless I go home to New York not saying that there is anything wrong with the people down in South Carolina I'm just saying I'd rather get my eyebrows done back home and you see i just did that bobblehead thing it's because i gotta buy y'all beyond but yeah now i'm going in with the eyebrow pomade and this is just more so to like sharpen the eyebrows up really make it look a little bit darker and just more i guess you could say give it the makeup eyebrow kind of couture look i love something about the pomade because it just makes your eyebrows look thick now don't go od now because i do be seeing some women having some really dark, dark, vivid, like, eyebrows. And I don't necessarily be going for that look. So that's not what I be trying to get from the look. It just makes the eyebrows look full. I have very light, I guess you could say, hair type of eyebrows. My hair isn't as thick as I want it to be. But that's what I add when I, you know, do my stencil with my pencil and my pomade to make it look gourmet. Okay? Okay. Now I am using my Morphe concealer and something that I've learned from not only previous makeup artists but makeup artists that I watch online as well is to always use a brighter shade for the under eyebrow and then use kind of closer to your skin tone um, concealer for the top part of the eyebrow. Now, I don't necessarily do good with that. I'm not really good at picking out my concealers. I just go with whatever I feel like picking up. I'm not gonna hold you, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna cap. But, this actually ended up being a lighter shade that I needed for the bottom and it worked out. Now, one thing about doing your makeup, you have to be an artist. 
So when something goes out of place or you might get concealer in the wrong spot or you might even just, you know, notice something, you need to be able to pick up where you left off. So as y'all can see, I mean, the top is kind of lighter. It doesn't necessarily match my skin tone, but it does what it needs to do, honey. And I know foundation is about to go back on top of it. So I don't even be really too pressed about getting my exact skin tone concealer because sometimes I barely know how to pick out my foundation. But to each its own, that's a me thing. You don't have to do that. I'm just suggesting, suggesting to do the bottom lighter, top darker. I go in with my blending brush and I blend that mother effer in. Do you see me blending? It's blending, it's blending. That is exactly what I'm doing. You want to blend till you can't blend anymore. If it don't look like the makeup is in your skin, yes I burped, but oh well. We're all Herman, as my boy Demario said. You want to blend to the point where you sometimes you need to be able to tell that you ain't even got makeup on in specific spots. Like that's how much you need to blend. And that's just what I go. I go under the eyebrow, on top of the eyebrow. I do my best to get like the square shape, like right at the top corner of my eyebrows. That way that, you know, it gives, I need, I love the square. I just love the square, square, square. And I love it to look like it's faded as well. So the inner eyebrows of my eyebrows, I need it to look faded as it's coming out, look full. But I just keep on going, I keep on blending. Y'all gonna see me blending a lot throughout this video, so I'm just giving a heads up right now because I don't wanna hear nobody complaining about all I seen her do was brush, blend, see, enough, mm -hmm. you're going to see me blend. And if you don't use damped blending beauty bops, that's what I call them, because they really remind me of teardrops, but I don't want to be sad thinking about them, so I call them bops. Blending booty bops. <laughs> blending beauty bops. Y'all heard that from me. I don't want to hear that y'all heard it from somebody else. Y'all heard it from me. But as you can see, I'm blending, like, not only am I blending, I'm shaping my eyebrows too because the lines need to line. They need to be parallel, not perpendicular. So, and also too, don't for one second think that your eyebrows need to be twin sisters. They just really need to be related. And one side is not going to always come out like the next side. If you got that type of quality type of thing going on with you, power to you and power to the people. I also blend in the middle because I don't need it to be like a light spot. Y'all, one time I did that and I got really irritated with myself. But hey, to each his own. After blending, I go in with my eyebrow gel. that, And I think I have, this is from e.l.f. So I go in with my eyebrow gel just to, you know, make it look not only full, but real classic. Like, it's something about a good classic eyebrow with using a gel that just make it look like how it needs to look. Then I go and I get my little spoolie and I go ahead and brush. Like I said, I want that square effect for it to look faded in the front and come out straight full throughout the eyebrow. And you can see, like I said, that go that artiste. That artiste is starting. You see that square? At that front, that's how I need you to love how your eyebrows to look. That's exactly how I be wanting my eyebrows to look. Like that, with the square all the way up in the front. I was feeling myself. I was like, oh yeah, girl, you did that with the eyebrows. So now I'm using my Morphe Eye Primer. And I use primer and concealer just because I like for my eyes to pop. And if you want your eyes to like really not only hold your eyeshadow, but if you're using like bright colors or colors that you want to stick, you want to kind of do this two-piece combo. It's, it's a combo that never gets old. I go in with my blending brush and I blend both of them together and you'll see the difference. Of course you could do it when you're doing your eyebrows, but I'd rather just do it separate. I like to focus on one specific section by yourself. So eyebrows get full attention specifically for eyebrows and then eyes and then you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I go ahead and I blend, I blend, I blend. And I do my best to get my corners as well in my eye crease, just because I don't know if I wanna crease out like to the angle side of my eyebrows and my eyes, or if I just wanna stay with the oval shape within my eyes. But you never know, so you always get all of the areas as much as you can. As you can see, I got the top corner right next to the end of my eyebrow, just because I didn't necessarily have a plan out of what I wanted to do with my eyes, but I just want to be prepared. You see what that is? That's that beauty box. I told y'all, blend and tear drop together. And it's damped. I damp all of my beauty box, except for the one that I contour with. But I don't really use contour no more for that. So, hey, 
This little blue thing right here is called a laxative. You can get it from your grocery store. It's a hack I learned from one of my last sisters that used to do my makeup full time. And I use it because I have very oily skin. And if you don't like for your makeup to look like it's sweating off, it's melting, you want to use this. Not only because it's going to work, but because if you're sweating, you don't need to be look like you're melting. Like, who want to be looking like Martin when he, you know, got that, allerg that allergic reaction? Come on now. Or when they be in the movie talking about, I'm melting, melting. Uh-uh, no. So, I use this, and I also learned it's better to, like, you know, take your hands and, like, wipe it around and, like, mush it in your face. Just because when it gets dry, it can easily bulk up. And trust me, you don't want that to happen. I learned a very good lesson with that, and I won't ever do that again. But as you can see, I'm rubbing it in my face. I'm doing what I need to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Little tap on the forehead, honey. Can't do much on the forehead. Why? Because I already did my eyebrows. I be understanding why people be doing the foundation first, but that's just not me. Ooh, honey, I just look so cute. And I only got my eyebrows done. And for the girlies that have mastered not having to use, you know, tape to get their creases, kudos to y'all. I'm not a master at that yet, so the tape will be me and I will be the tape. I use my Coffee Eyeshadow Collection from Juvia's Place. And I like to start off with light colors for my eyeshadow just because it's going to make my actual, like, top, top base really pop. Like, I go along both sides, and as I work my way up from the lightest color, I then go into my browns. I like to use browns just because sometimes... We love to just sit here and use whatever coat we want to just use. But match, play around. Like, when you start using different colors, you end up actually learning how to blend your colors. You learn how to, you know, get the type of effect you want to get every time you do your eyeshadow. And for me, I always get that type of effect when I blend my browns. I go from lightest to, I'll say, more medium. I don't use the darkest colors unless I'm using the darkest color eyeshadow to crease my eyes. And I wasn't using, you know, any dark coffee type of colors this time because that wasn't the look I was going for. So I'm actually excited to show you what color I went with. Drum roll, please. I actually use pink and green. It's so funny because my outfit was more so on the grayish side. So I didn't really even understand why I picked pink. I don't know. Pink is really my go-to when I do my eyeshadow. Pink or red. It's either pink, red, green, or gold. Like, I just, I don't know what it is about those colors that are just always my go-to. And sometimes blue, but it's always pink. And I use pink to crease. Now, originally, I was like, okay, I'm going to go with, like, a dullish pink. So, I'm just sitting here, you feel me, like, testing the waters out. I'm like, okay, it's creasing really well with the brown. I don't know what made me say, okay, Cassie, we're going to do green in the middle. I don't know what made me say that. I promise you it's not because I'm an AKA. I promise you that for sure, for sure. But I necessarily just wanted to see, you know, how it was going to blend. Like, I thought it was just going to be cute, so I started blending it together. And I actually blend, like, a kind of um, matcha green with, like, an olive green together. And the green was actually green, and y'all, I was like, hold on. Like, this is really coming out like a cute little blend, and then I got the pink on top. So I just started blending. And remember I said... You want to do your best to use different color coats that way that you know how to blend your colors correctly. Because I probably did this before in the past, but it wasn't like this time. You see how that, like, that green is popping? That green is popping. Please do not mind my voice, y'all. I had such a lit time Saturday. I know y'all probably tired of hearing it. And then I went to church and I was shouting. Not like the shouting that they be, I'm shouting, I don't know how to do that yet. And I don't want to shout, like, not correctly. So, that's why my voice sound like this. But to each his own. That's what happens when you have a good weekend. But I won't do that no more because I got videos to record. But do y'all see how this green look? It's giving, like, a dragon, like... Not you're a girl dragon, but of course you're a girl dragon. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my gosh, it's giving shrink and dunky. Why did I just think about that? That is so funny to me. But yeah, I was loving how it was coming out, but I wanted it to pop some more. So I used another palette that I got, which is actually like a Rio de Janeiro palette that I got from Ulta. And I wanted the pink to be a little lighter. So I ended up using that pink and putting it over the crease parts, but also kind of blending it a little bit more with the green, just so the crease could be just as perfect, but the green could like have like a little sizzle pop too. And I wanted to make sure I got all my corners just because I just do not want to be looking crazy. Like, just look at me. I was just looking beautiful. Listen, I was just feeling it, honey, okay? Also, to my girlies that do eyeliner, I want to give y'all a special shout out. This is my first time probably doing eyeliner since 2021. And I mean like eyeliner on myself since 2021. Somebody else could do eyeliner on me, but me personally, that's really why I got the tape. Because I could can, I can do a good crease without the tape. But because I knew I was putting eyeliner on, oh yeah, it was all over the with. I was so like, I don't know what it is, but me and liner just don't get along. One thing about it, two things for sure. The eyelashes is why I have the eyelash. I only use Velvet Lux eyelashes. Um, and my girl Armu Armula um eyelashes. That's my girl right C honey. Italy for short. But yeah, I only use um V Lux and they're only nine dollars from the hair store. They're so full, they literally give mink eyelashes. Like they come in different sizes and shapes, but my go-to is always the cashmere rose. Just because I just love how the cashmere rose looks. Like, look at that. Look at that. And it was going with the bob. I told you I'm going to be doing that all the, the whole time in this video. I promise y'all, y'all about to see that so much. Y'all about to be like, Cassie, what the hell you had going on? But, you know, I love the eyelashes just because they're full. And I probably get a good, I'll say, like, 10 wears. And I also clean my eyelashes, like... I don't just take the glue off, you know, and rewear them. I take the glue off, I put it, the eyelashes, in a cup with some detergent and water. I let it sit and then I let them air dry. Sometimes, no, not sometimes, all the time, not only to save money, but to just think about hygiene. It is very important to like clean the stuff that you use on your face the stuff that you use for your eyes i'm not really a girl that has gotten into the whole cluster or individual thing just because i'm not really too good with like me having to wear it on my eyes i'm sorry you know one they cost too much money two i'm too lazy to do it by myself and my arms was hurting so bad because i did nothing but arm workouts all week so you see me taking the tape off let's see the reveal for the crease hold on i was struggling don't mind me Oh, oh, come on, come on. Listen, I was struggling. Y'all see that crease? That crease looks so good. I'm over here trying to fix my eyelashes. Don't know how to act because I'm really feeling my daggone crease. Bobbiana. <laughs> so, now we're going to get into the face. As you can see, the laxative done dried up. I, again, do not use too much. I am using the Fit Me Foundation. I believe I used 358 Latte. And before y'all, like, I don't know why, but I was mixing and blending 358 with 368. It's just because I have very light, like, light, light patches on my face. And sometimes my actual, like, shoulders and neck don't match my actual face tone. And I hate that for me. But for some reason... 358 was doing her big one today and I decided to use it like you know by itself when it comes down to getting your lace done I tell everybody this do your best to just be careful of course you want to you know get it in get it good you know make sure everything is blending with each other but just be mindful and be careful of your lace that's just me I just love being careful just because again this was the first day I got my hair done and I'm sorry the way your hair look the first day you get it done is nowhere compared to the way it look after. So sorry, so sorry. It's the truth. So I just go around, make sure my top of my forehead's good, and then I use my bop. Bop, bop, boot, bop, 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 boop. And I get all corners. I get under the eyes because sometimes the brush don't be capturing everything the way it needs to. It might do a little one too, but it ain't going to do what that beauty bop going to do. So I'm getting every single corner 
every single crease. Every You see my eyes looking up? Look at my eyes. Roll them. I'm getting every single neck part. I'm getting everything you could think of. Why? Because you need to blend. You need to blend. You need to blend, blend to the point where you don't even want to blend again. You need to continue blending. And you don't need to stop blending until you don't feel like you need to stop blending. Some of y'all might think, oh, I need to stop blending after a little pat pat. No, we love the pat pat, so we're going to pat pat till we can't pat pat no more. You hear me? But no, for real, y'all. You want to blend because, again, you'd want your makeup. I feel like some people be forgetting the point of makeup is really to, like, block you know from sun interaction but it's also to look good too so you want your makeup to look as natural as possible granted yes you might see me with a good little pops of color on my eyeshadow but i need my foundation to be sitting so now it's time for us to bake a little cake 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 again i'm using my morphe perfect concealer and the reason i say it's, i say it's perfect because baby is perfect it worked wonders I go in the corners of my eyes and my nose to my chin and right to my little T area. And also another thing too, I love to blend my concealers. Just because blending your concealers when you're contouring and baking a cake on your face, it gives you that extra pop, you know? You might see some women, you know, they use darker colors. I'm not that advanced yet. I'm not, I promise y'all I'm not. But I'm going to get there someday. You feel me? I'm definitely going to get there someday. But it was just something about, again, this makeup, like, this day that I was just like, girl, you see how I'm looking? I'm like, I'm just so proud of you. So proud of you. But that face just, you see how I just looked up? I did not think and see how much foundation I wasted until I looked down when I was contouring my face. I could not believe I wasted foundation. Do y'all know how expensive foundation is? Fit me might be cheap, but honey, it's expensive when you gotta keep on buying it. I was so irritated with myself because I used the perfect amount of foundation on my face and to see how much foundation I had left over because I pour it down and then I like, you know, blend it in my brush and then I apply it to my face. But I had so much more foundation um, left over. Child, I was pissed. You see how I got under my eye? Blending. Blend. I promise you I probably took a good while on this side because I was trying to make sure that I got all of that concealer mixed together. And child, it really don't look like I got really good concealer on my face because it blended so good. And everything you do kind of on one side when it comes down to like concealer and just blending together you want to do it on the opposite side as well but see me i messed up my crease and when i caught it i was like oh i already know what i gotta do it was two options either i was going to use my finger or i was going to use a little secret weapon but i ain't about to sit over here and let y'all know what the secret weapon is you feel me i'm just lying you see me using my finger? Nope, I got that good crease brush and then I caught it, brought it back and I said, oh yeah, we're gonna brush this out a little bit. Period. You see how I look? Period. Got me. Y'all thought I was gonna let y'all come on here and not get the gems when it come down to me doing my makeup? Come on now. I ain't selfish. I can't wait till I learn how to master doing my under eye eyeliner. I feel like it's gonna be such like, it's gonna give aesthetic to my makeup process. Now I'm getting into my forehead, of course. And with my forehead, Sometimes I realize that my foundation might be a little darker than my blend. So I'm going across my forehead, like all the way across my forehead. Like I need the contour to be from the top to the bottom. But honey, can y'all, do y'all see this face? Like y'all see, I got the middle. I told y'all blending, blending, blending. This face looks so good. Like I can't, I can't express like, how proud I was on doing my face. After I use my brush to blend, I'm also gonna go in with my beauty box and everything again is dent. And you better believe it. If you did not learn anything from me today, it is to blend, to blend, to blend, and to blend. Please blend. If you ain't gonna do anything else, please 
blend your makeup. It is so important. It's sometimes like I have a homegirl that does makeup. She might walk up to me and she might like take her finger and like blend it. It's just because she does makeup. But when she does that, it just reminds me like next time you do your makeup, make sure you blend. Like that's the type of stuff I be on because it's not that I don't mind her walking up to me. It's just if I do it right the first time, I won't have to worry about nobody doing that. You feel me? So yeah, it's always good to just blend your makeup out that way that you don't have no type of off pigmentations because you didn't catch like a little something. And lighting is very important. Look at me with my bob. I did not know how to act, y'all. Now it's time to bake the cake for real. But first we're going to spray us with a good Morphe setting spray. A good Morphe setting spray. And we're going to blend that too. Just to get the setting spray within the actual, you know, face. And let it sit down and let it, you know, soak up its good makeup juices. So, I use this little thing I got at Ulta. I'm not really up to date with using, I guess you'll say, the little face bombs. I don't really know how to explain those. I'm used to using an angle brush. And I could just tell because I when I use this and I use the brush to set my face, it just didn't give what my angle brush usually gives. My angle brush usually gives I'm baking a cake. This looks like it's already set. And for all of that, I'm just like, it don't give me the, the wow factor that, you know, I usually get when I set my face because I like for it to look like I'm baking. And then I wanna, you know, stir the pot up and bake the cake. This look like, baby, if you brush it one good time, it's gonna already be in place. I'm not saying I wanna prolong the process, but what I'm really saying is I just love I really love doing my makeup so when I really love doing my makeup I just love watching you know the progress I would use this if I'm in a rush and technically I wasn't a rush but technically I wasn't so it was just kind of like you know like look at that it already looked like you know it's already in peak granted yes I gotta brush it but it just don't give what my angle bop gives and my angle bop is the only bop that I do not, and what I mean do not, I do not wet. Just because I wanted to give what it needs to give, honey. So now I'm gonna use my brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, swipe her nose, swiping. Actually, I am swiping, but I'm swiping everywhere but loose. You hear me? Swiping, honey. Swiping. And I'm swiping so much that I was getting places that didn't even need to be swiped for real. But it's only because I want the powder to like, really go where it needs to go and just space out for real like you really need to this is a part of the blending process you need to blend your powder and set it straight and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty bop my damped beauty bop and go ahead and bop 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 to the top because this is the this is the important part where you really really need to make sure you blend you do not want to have no light spaces because you wasn't paying attention and this time, oh, I'm gonna spray even harder and blend because I need this to be a cake that's set and sprayed. Do you feel me? You see the face? The face was still a little wet. And that's why I use the Beauty Bop to blend the set and spray in. I got every corner, every angle, you name it. Just because I needed for it to just blend properly. Then I'm gonna use some satin powder. I just use this last just because I want it to set in not only with, you know, my good banana boat um, powder, but I also need like that last coat of my actual, that is close to my skin tone. And it gives what it needs to give and it sets off. Granted, yes, I sprayed, but this was the last time that, you know, I was about to be finished. Then, you know, when you're on like Instagram or TikTok and you see like the makeup girlies kind of doing things, it inspire you, inspires you to do things. So I wanted to use the actual like face, the finishing set powder to like kind of get the creases of my eyebrows into my nose. I do not know how to contour my nose yet. Again, I'm not an advanced makeup kind of girly, but I kind of wanted to see what it would kind of get. And I'm not gonna hold y'all, I was not disappointed. Like when I put this into the crease between my nose and my eyebrows, I was like, okay, you know, like it's giving what it needs to give. Then I kind of went in again, like I said, you need to be an artiste to know how you want, you know, everything to be on your face. And I just went over a little bit on my eyebrows. It gave it that square appealing that I needed it to give. 
And it just, I was able to brush in the ends. When you want the faded look, it's always better to just kind of like put a little bit of pencil to the front and just brush it. Just brush it. And you see that faded kind of thing kind of going on? Yeah. That's always the kind of look that I always want to get with my eyebrows. I just love how it looks. But watch me square that thing out though. You see how I squared it? That's the RT in me, I promise you. Do y'all see this face? We ain't even got to the lips yet, honey. Banana, nana, nana. I call this the banana face. Anybody that knows me knows that I love to do the banana face with my blush. Look at that blush. Cute. And then I go in and I use my Becca Champagne Pop Glow Highlight. And everybody knows that that thing is real shiny. So you want to go in, knock it off with your brush, and just blend, blend, blend. I always get my hot cheekbones and my nose because I love how it looks on me. I'm not even going to hold you. Finally, we are at the last part, which is the lips. Now, I know y'all probably see my lips and like, this girl lips been chapped all along. But it's only because I don't never know what type of lip I'm going to go with. If I'm going to go with matte, gloss, or just lipstick. So I leave my lips alone. Yeah, they might have looked ashy this whole video, but it was a reason. So I go ahead and I outline with the dark pencil, brown pencil that I have. And I just love to make sure I get all corners because, again, when you outline, you outline your lips, they need to be outlined perfect. Then I also, I think this was Caramel Macchiato from the Juvia's Place Coffee Collection with all of the different lip colors. I wanna, I've been trying to use, every time I turn around, I'm using a new one. Like, this was straight out of the pack. <laughs> Don't judge me, y'all. But, yeah, this was straight out of the pack, and I love how this lip combo kind of, you know, went together. Like, it really combined so perfectly together that I wasn't even disappointed. Look at the face. Look at my roof. Look at my roof. Your girl looks good, honey. Okay, Bobbiana. Bobbiana. Everything I need to give. Mwah. Bye, bookies.